the earth has a 4.6 billion year history however homo sapiens the modern humans only evolved between 400000 to 250000 years ago humans evolved from the family hominid the great apes that have existed on earth for around 20 million years over time different human species with different characteristics have existed on earth but not all species of humans have survived the journey with many of them becoming extinct the only human species left is homo sapiens so let's take a look on a gradual human evolution and the species that roamed the earth since the beginning i'm your host rajat and welcome to yt station youtube channel if you like our content hit the like button subscribe or leave a comment some of the homo species that have existed on earth before modern humans are homo rudolfensis homo habilis homo erectus homo neanderthalensis and at last homo sapiens which globalized at around 200000 to 300000 years ago which are still roaming the earth and are believed to have stopped the human evolution for the more years of painstaking excavation at the fossil rich site of Dremolin nestled within the cradle of humankind in south africa has resulted in the recovery of several new and important fossils archaeologists have found the skull attributed to homo erectus species which dates back to 2 million years published this week in science magazine the international team of nearly 30 scientists from five countries shared details of this skull the most ancient fossil of homo erectus species known to men and other fossils from this site and discussed how these new finds are forcing us to rewrite a part of our species evolutionary history scientists mentioned that the high resolution dating of dremolens fossil deposits demonstrates the age of new skull to predate homo erectus specimens from other sites within and outside of africa by at least 100000 to 200000 years and thus confirms an african origin of the species the skull reconstructed from more than 150 separate fragments is of an individual likely aged between 3 and 6 years old giving scientists a rare glimpse into childhood growth and development in these early human ancestors another fossils recovered from dremolen belong to a different species in fact a different genus of ancient human altogether the more heavily built robust human ancestor paranthropus robustus known to also occur at several nearby cave sites preserving fossils of the same geological age a third distinctive species Australopithecus sediba is known from at least 2 million years old deposits of an ancient cave site virtually down the road from Dremolen in South Africa. Unlike the situation today where we are the only human species, 2 million years ago a direct ancestor was not alone, said Andy Harris, the project director and lead researcher from Latrobe University in Australia. Gary Schwartz a paleoanthropologist and research associate with ASU's Institute of Human Origins participated in the excavations and recovery of the new cranium and as an expert in the evolution of growth and development he is continuing his work with a research team to analyze the many infant and juvenile specimens found at the site what is really exciting is the discovery that during this same narrow time slice at just around 2 million years ago there were three very different types of ancient human ancestors roaming the same small landscape said schwartz he said we don't yet know whether they interacted directly but their presence raises the possibility that these ancient causal humans evolved strategies to divvy up the landscape and its resources in some way to enable them to live in such close proximity Well, the ability to date Dremolen's ancient cave deposits with such a high degree of precision using a range of different dating techniques allowed the team to address important broader questions about human evolution in this region of Africa. Paper co-authored Justin Adams from Monash University in Australia is a specialist in reconstructing paleo habitats based on the animals preserved at fossil sites. Said the discovery now allow us to address what role changing habitats resources and the unique biological adaptations of early human erectus may have played in the eventual extinction of australopithecus sediba 
in South Africa. Fieldwork will continue at Drumolin, expanding the excavations to include even more ancient components of the cave and to provide a more in-depth glimpse of the forces shaping our human evolution in this part of the African continent. Follow YT Station social handles for more such updates. This is YT Station signing off.